imagine you are interviewing for your dream program where you want to see yourself for the next couple of years. I still can remember the day when I was interviewing for my number one preferred program. There are few key points if you follow that will certainly make the difference between the acceptance of your dream program and the rejection. I am Dr. Farzana Hawk. Currently, I'm working as an assistant professor of medicine. I have coached medical students, both in the US and internationally, for their interview preparation. I'm also actively involved in interviewing committee for faculty and resident recruitment. Today, I'm going to share with you the tips and tricks to look and sound confident for your virtual interview. It is very important to find the perfect focus. Always use your laptop. Definitely avoid your cell phone because when I am using my cell phone, I have all the attention and energy on holding my cell phone and have that perfect focus for me. Absolutely do not do that. So use your laptop. Also, it is very important to have the camera lens of your laptop at your eye level or little bit higher than your eye level. How you can achieve that? I will strongly recommend you to use some books or boxes just under your laptop so that you can adjust the camera lens. Always make sure that your picture is at the center of the lens. You must be at the center of the screen because you are the main attention of the interview. Also, make sure that when you are inside, inside the screen, there should be a gap between the edge of your head and edge of the screen. I can bet you that if you follow these simple steps, you will find that perfect focus. Absolutely, do not hold your phone. If you have to use your cell phone, try any cheap tripod that will help you to keep your phone still. Also, do not place your camera downward because seeing people nostrils is extremely uncomfortable. Posture and gesture, critically important. I will strongly recommend you to follow the rules of news anchors. News anchors always sit little forward on their chair. If you sit little forward on your chair, it will help you to sit straight and keep your back straight. Also, Keep your feet on the ground. That will decrease the tendency to have nervous tapping on the ground. Human face look much better when it is little angled rather than taking the picture completely in front of our face. If you go to any professional photographer, you will find that they will tell you to angle your face a little bit. So follow these critical rules when you are sitting in front of the camera for your virtual interview. Absolutely avoid rocking when you are sitting on your chair during the interview because it shows that you are anxious and it will 
definitely distract your interviewer. You do not want to do that. I cannot stress enough how important it is. Use your hand, have the open gesture, but absolutely do not point finger in front of camera because on the other side, it may look as you are trying to poke on the interviewer's eye and also pointing finger keeps the impression of arrogance. So absolutely avoid that. Eye contact. During these virtual interviews, how we can have eye contact? The secret is treat your camera as a person. If you want to have that proper eye contact, directly look at your camera. When you are doing the virtual interview, you may see your picture at the side of your screen. I know you want to look at that picture, but absolutely no. Because as human being, we are very much cautious about our appearance. If you focus on your picture, absolutely you will lose all the attention and concentration. Focus on your interviewer, not at your own picture. You may think that you will just quickly look at your side notes and then come back. Believe me, it will not be that much quick for the interviewer. So avoid looking at your side notes. It will definitely interrupt the communication. Lighting can make you or break you. Most important to remember is that lighting must be behind your laptop as well as little higher than your laptop. As I am doing all the virtual sessions now, I purchased a ring light. However, I'm not advocating you that you must have to have a ring light. If you do not have a ring light, use any LED table lamp. I recently purchased the ring light. However, previously all the time, I used to have the LED table lamp. That worked completely fine. Rule of thumb will be make sure you are using the white light. Avoid using the yellow light. You do not want to look jaundiced in front of camera during that important virtual interviews. The rule of thumb I would like to share with you that any lighting source during your virtual interview must be in front of you, nothing behind you. Because if the lighting source is at behind or at side, it will put the shadow on your face. You want to have that polished look, not that face which one the interviewer cannot see. Dress for success. Always be professional in your dress up because it shows that you deserve respect as well as you are respecting your interviewer. Use any solid color, including your tie. Any subtle pattern is completely acceptable. When I was researching for this presentation, I found out that according to the professional photographers, blue is the most photogenic color. During your virtual interview, I will strongly recommend you not to use any shiny fabrics like silk. Avoid any big prints or stripe pattern because it can create optical illusion which can make your interviewer dizzy. You certainly do not want to make them dizzy. Makeup and accessories. Less is more. Always make sure that you do not have any oil on your face. 
particularly if you have oily skin like me, keep a tissue box very close to you so that you can tap the tissue on your face to remove that excess oil. Absolutely, make sure the tissue box is outside of your camera zone. If you are using eyeglass, use the frame which has anti-reflective coat. Very critical to remember that use simple accessories as less is more. I would recommend you to have some makeup, particularly for female candidates. However, absolutely avoid any excess makeup. During these virtual interviews, use any kind of makeup lipstick or any matte lipstick or any matte makeup. Avoid any shiny lip gloss because it will be definitely distracting. Also, Try your lipstick shade first. This is applicable for uh, the female candidates because you may be surprised to see the lipstick shade which you are using. It may look quite different when you were using in front of camera. So try it before rather than be surprised in front of camera. Be cautious not to fidget with your hair, particularly who have, who have long hair because it will shows that you are nervous. You definitely give them the best version of yourself. Always strive to look professional and confident. Background, be mindful. Use any solid color. Bookshelf is always classic. You can showcase your medical textbooks as well as some classics like Hamilton according to your preference. Also, you can highlight your awards. Family pictures. You will be surprised to know one important difference about perception on family pictures between male and female candidates. For male candidates, it perceive as caring and responsible person. On the other hand, if a female candidate use the family picture, it may perceive as they are not enough career oriented and it may perceive as distraction. So be mindful about this important perception difference. Do not sit very close to the door because it signals that you are in hurry. You may heard the research that has been shown that when physician is close to the door, patient feels the physician is in hurry. The same rule is also applicable for your virtual interview background. Always make sure you are quite far from the wall because if you are sitting very close to the wall, it will put the shadow on your face. Do not leave the door open because your interviewer does not need to see what is inside of your closet. Be vigilant about the virtual background because you will see that if you are using virtual background, your head will go continuously in and out, which is absolutely distracting as well as sometimes hilarious too. So avoid the virtual background during these professional virtual interviews and go with any solid color. Avoid any bulky headphones for two reasons. First, it does not look professional. Secondly, it may give you the impression that you are that millennial kid who prefers to use headphone and love to 
watch the video games. If you want to use microphone, try any small lapel microphone. Otherwise, the modern sound system of the laptop is quite good and you can go with it. If you want to, if you do not want to spend money for lapel microphones. End of interview. Always smile. A smile makes you confident and approachable. When you smile, the world smiles with you. As well as always remember to thank your interviewer. They are giving the valuable time for you. So they deserve the gratitude from you. Finally, leave with positive impression. Remember, most of the time, people do not remember the entire encounter. Majority of the time, they remember the beginning at the ending. So, leave with positive impression. Believe me, it will be helpful for you when they are doing your evaluation. There are few points which are critical to remember. First of all, do not interrupt the interviewer. Nobody wants to work with a person who interrupt. You want to project yourself as a wonderful team member. When the interviewer is talking, listen attentively, and after they are done, then talk. I will recommend you to switch off any other software in your laptop as well as silent your phone. The key here is keep your phone aside because nobody can predict the future. There may be some technical issue from your part or maybe their part. If that happened, they could call you at your cell phone to tell you that they may continue the rest of the interview through cell phone or they may reschedule. So key here is do not panic. Have that flexibility, have that strength to adapt with any unpredictable changes. You want to project yourself that you have the courage to face with any unpredictable situations. Take the advantage of the chat feature if you are not able to hear your interviewer. Feel free to reach me if you have any questions or any comments. I wish you all the success in the next chapter of your life. I know if you practice, you will shine. Best of luck.